Welcome to the first instance of the Services Roadshow by Basefund FDI, where currently funded basic services pitch themselves in 10 minutes, followed by a non-public Q&A session. Our next basic service to be presented is RDM Training for NFDI, a service for research data management training. Sage. Yeah, thank you. So hello, everyone. I'm happy to be here and share insights into our project. So over the next 10 minutes, I walk you through the background goals and plans for RDM training for NFDI and how it aims to make an impact in the NFDI community. Uh, as our project just got accepted, therefore didn't start it yet, I can't give you much insights in outcomes and achievements, but give you an overview on what will come. So a problem starts, uh, a solution starts with a problem or a challenge. So let me start by discussing the challenges we aim to address. Uh, the research data management is critical for ensuring reproducibility, accessibility, and uh, compliance with fair principles, but there's a lack of open tailored training materials across disciplines. And often researchers and data stewards face mismatch between their specific needs and available resources. Additionally, there's a growing demand for training formats that accommodate both short-term and long-term learning objectives. So for example, a researcher might need a quick workshop on metadata standards while a data steward or trainer might require uh, in-depth training on legal issues and privacy sensitive data. And another issue is the absence of certification mechanisms. So without certification, it's challenging to ensure the quality of training and provide recognition for the skills participants acquire. And addressing these issues is yeah, the core of RDM training for NFDI. But what is RDM training uh, for NFDI? Um, it's designed to meet these challenges. So at its heart, this project provides modular training materials, workshops, and certification that address essential topics in research data management. So these include the fair principles, for example, uh, metadata standards, um, also research software or handling sensitive data and um, yeah, maybe legal aspects. So the project targets the data stewards and the trainers uh, in the NFDI consortia, and these individuals play a central role in transferring knowledge to researchers across institutions. So by providing the trainers with the high quality resources and training, we can have a ripple effect spreading best practices throughout the research community. So ultimately, the goal is to create a standardized high quality training uh, framework that promotes fair and open science practices. Yeah, what the uh, NFDI consortia need um, to ensure the project aligns with the needs of the NFDI consortia, we gathered extensive feedback from the community um, uh, with a community workshop. So four key areas have emerged. One is the modular training materials. So there's a clear need for customizable resources that address both discipline specific topics and uh, emerging areas like legal frameworks for data sharing. Then also centralized support. Trainers need guidance on how to structure content effectively and apply didactic principles. So not only the, the content, but how to deliver it. Um, a trainer network, so facilitating peer exchange on best practices and interdisciplinary challenges is crucial for long-term success. And finally, any training materials must be regularly updated to stay relevant, especially as new researchers practices and uh, technologies emerge. Yeah, how can we address the challenges that I mentioned? Um, we want to create modular teaching materials. These are customizable to fit specific disciplines or emerging topics, ensuring relevance and flexibility. Um, uh, we are planning training formats. So we want to offer a summer school and an online workshop series. And we plan to have the certification. Um, this ensures participants can formally document their RDM uh, competencies, providing recognition and value to, uh, for their efforts. And uh, of course, the networking. So it is important for us that we promote knowledge sharing, idea sharing, and educational outreach. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of the tools, formats, and platforms and um, that we are pl planning to use. 
So um, one is LeaScript and Markdown. These are powerful for de uh, developing interactive and open source content and uh, allow us to create engaging learning materials that can be easily updated. Uh, then we have Zenodo that serves as a centralized repository for archiving training materials um, and en ensuring long-term accessibility. And GitLab is our platform of choice for collaborative development and version control, making it easy to manage updates and contributions from multiple stakeholders. Um, I want to go a little bit more into detail in the, into the training formats that I already mentioned. So the, um, the, the formats that we want to offer is first the summer school. This is an uh, intensive one-week session uh, providing immersive learning experience. Uh, the other one is the online workshop series uh, that is designed to be more flexible. And these modular session, uh, sessions span four weeks and allow participants to engage at their own pace. Both of these uh, formats are planned for December uh, 25. And uh, we have a certificate course. So for those seeking a deeper commitment, we are planning to add our multi-month certificate course from uh, ZBEB that offers comprehensive coverage of RDM topics for the integration phase. So not yet, but we're getting there. Uh, for accessibility, we've uh, prioritized platforms that make it easy for users to find and share training materials. One is Dahlia, um, that's a metadata-rich platform that enables um, yeah, um, to discover everything uh, for open educational resources. Then again, Zenodo for the long-term archiving and open licensing through CC BY and the consortia uh, website. Yeah, so what next? Uh, speaking of, we are just getting started. Um, looking ahead, we are preparing for the project launch, which is scheduled for early um, 25, so uh, mid-February or March. And our uh, initial priorities include building the core team and establishing efficient workflows, uh, developing modular training materials and the didactic concepts relying um, on, the, on the carpentries setting up platforms like Zenodo, Dalia, and GitLab and fostering strong community connections through networking activities. And that's the sign for the call to action. So uh, where we will get in touch with you is our planned activities like community workshops to exchange ideas with the NFDI consortia, uh, data competence centers and the Etitrain APs, analyze uh, the RDM training needs and priorities and identify synergies for effective collaboration. Um, but also, if you have any idea, any suggestion, you're welcome um, to, uh, to contact us. If you have spe uh, specific training needs or challenges, ideas for collaboration uh, or feedback for us, then you can contact us. I put in uh, the mail from me and from Konrad Förstner. And you can already note down the, the mailing list that is not set up yet, but it's coming. Yeah, so that's it from my side. Last but not least, the, the little quiz, which NFDI section submitted and supports RDM training for NFDI? Is it EduTrain, is it EduGain or Open EduEdu? And yeah, thank you. Open yeah, phone. thank you. Thank you, Team RDM Training for NFDI. We close the recording now and can start with the non-public Q&A sessions.